Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to adjust gas in MetaMask in order to incentivize miners to prioritize your transaction over others in case a drop is selling out fairly quickly and you just want to make sure that you get one before the drop is sold out. But before we get started, I do just want to give a general warning. Everything I talk about in this video is meant to be informational. However, it's important that you do your own research on how Ethereum transaction fees work. If you're not 100% comfortable and positive that you're adjusting the right settings, please don't proceed, proceed with the transaction. There is a chance that you may adjust the wrong setting and your transaction can fail. And that would cause Ethereum miners to charge you for the failed transaction. So when in doubt, please do your own research. Uh, with that said, let's just go ahead and get started. So uh, the first thing is first is you're gonna wanna make sure you have MetaMask installed, set up and funded. I do, that's gonna be up here is my MetaMask extension. You're gonna go to artblocks.io, click on connect. I am using MetaMask. So I'm gonna sign this and I'm gonna be connected. So you could verify that I'm connected here in the top right corner. So once you're connected on the Artblocks website, scroll down and find a project that you'd like to mint, view collection, and we're gonna click on purchase and mint. Just uh, again, for clarity, you can verify you're connected in the top right corner. If you are connected, this purchase and mint button will be clickable. Once you click the button, you get a pre-mint warning. If you agree, click purchase, and it'll drag us over to MetaMask. So this top price here is the price for the piece itself. The estimated gas fee is shown here, and this is the total price. So as far as the price breakdown goes, the 0.16 is what's charged for the piece. This estimated gas fee goes directly to Ethereum miners. That is not part of our blocks. That doesn't go to the artist. That, that's just the network transaction fee. If you would like to edit this fee, we're gonna click on the edit button and there are three default options. We have low, medium, and high. Uh, generally, this will, this will be sufficient in order to get your transaction through quickly if a drop isn't you know, highly sought after and bought out uh, at drop time. Um, if it was drop time and something was going very quickly, a lot of people go to this advanced setting option. And this is very important, so please pay attention. You never, never, never wanna to touch the gas limit. The only thing you touch here is gonna be the max fee. So it looks like gas right now is about 54 GUE. Uh, GUE is just a unit of measure uh, on, on the you know Ethereum chain. So uh, increasing this increases the amount of money that you're willing to pay pay a miner to process your transaction. So right now it looks like MetaMask is telling me that if I want my transaction to go through in less than 15 seconds, it suggests 51 GUE. Um, we've seen during drops, this number can spike. So if uh, I want to anticipate that spike and make sure that my transaction is prioritized uh, and it's suggesting 53, I might do something like 75. Please note that the transaction fee total did go up when I typed in that 75, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and click save. And then you would just send the transaction through by uh, clicking confirm. For the purpose of this video, I am not going to click confirm. If you wanted to see what the price of gas was before sending your transaction through and just seeing what the market rate is, you can always go to Etherscan. At the top, you're gonna go up to more and then explore, track gas. That is another way to see what the gas price currently is. Uh, there's also extensions as well. So um, definitely do some research on the best ways. There's plenty of services that will show you how to track gas. Uh, but again, I, I just wanted to show you those few different ways, how to adjust it within MetaMask, um, and, and again, I, I do just want to emphasize that uh, you should always do your own research on how to interact with MetaMask. Um, I will throw some links to MetaMask resources directly, um, either in the video description or on Artblocks' learn page as well. So you can see what MetaMask has to say about how to interact with, with their tool. Um, but other than that, I hope this video is helpful uh, and, and I hope that you know, showing you how to adjust gas before hopefully your first time buying brings the anxiety down a little bit. And uh, if this is helpful to anybody in the community, please share it there as well. Other than that, thanks for watching and happy minting.